Good morning. This is uh, my name's Mike Yazina. I'm uh, with uh, Menorcan Magic uh, com, the uh, maker of uh, handmade uh, cast nets. And what I want to do uh, in this video this morning is I get occasionally phone calls and emails about uh, knitting needles, uh, having knit knitting needles. Sinker molds also, well forget sinker molds, there's nobody that makes sinker molds to, to my knowledge anywhere anymore. But uh, knitting needles we can do. Uh, I do not make them to sell. Phil and I make them for ourselves. And uh, But I'd like to go over some stuff with you, the types of wood. Uh, and before I get started, let me tell you right off, I'm not going to insult anybody's intelligence by showing you how to operate a bandsaw or a, or, or a table saw or a planer. If you're going to make needles, you already know how to do that. So I'm just going to get right on to the, the fact of the way we do this. And it's not necessarily the best way by any, any stretch of the imagination, but it's the way we do it. Uh, you want to use a hardwood. It's important that you use a hardwood. Uh, we use, I've got various uh, stuff here. My favorite is being ebony. I love ebony, both black and white ebony. Uh, we also use uh, one of my least favorites is black walnut. Uh, we do use uh, cherry and uh, love the uh, uh, olive, olive wood and hickory. Now I've never, never, never made any out of uh, oak for some reason, just have it. And of course the, the, the mesh boards, you know what the mesh boards are, they're the same. Make them out the same stuff. Now what I want to show you is uh, what we do, we'll take a needle, and I've already done this, is to take, you want to lay it out. This is a, this is a piece of, uh, of uh, uh, hickory. Now, uh, you have to, hickory is easy to get. The ebony is expensive and you can find it eBay. People on eBay are selling all of the hardwood, many, many others than this. You may see something that you like better. You may have something that you that you already have that you want to use if you if you opt to, to make yourself a, a needle. Uh, so what I've done, I've taken one of these needles and I've clamped it on this flat piece of uh, of, of uh, hickory and took a, a zellable marking pen and, and just drew around it. Now, after after this, the first thing you want to do, you got to cut this slot in here. You want to cut the slot on either side. This is called a tongue. You want to cut a slot where you can get a a, a a hacksaw blade. Now, don't go to the dollar store and buy a hacksaw blade. Go to a good uh, somebody that sells good quality stuff because you don't want to buy no little cheap hacksaw blades. Uh, only time you're going to really use this, you got what what I do. What we do is we'll take and I'll put this. I want to put the teeth. This is 32 teeth. Uh, you can use less, but I, not less, but I wouldn't go much more, much uh, heavier than that. You need a fine blade, and I'll put it where the teeth are coming back toward me. And what I'll do is I'll come up in here like this, and I'll just start going back and forth, just back and forth until I can cut a, a slot in this thing. Now, once I cut the slot on one side, I go to the other side. Then after that, you can turn the blade around and just push your blade through it and then Follow your line and, and cut that slot out. Be careful. Now, the reason that I do that slot first is if you mess this up, uh, if you go to all the trouble of cutting this out and getting everything ready, uh, and then you go to cut your slot and you bust it, you know, you're, you've wasted a lot of time. So I cut the slot. That's the hardest and the most critical part is cutting the slot. Now, uh, you can use a Dremel tool. Uh, you can use a Dremel tool with a little steel rotary steel blade. Uh, I don't. I don't. I tried one one time, and the, and the thing chattered on me, and I ruined the darn piece of wood. So I said, "The heck with it. No more of them than I make. I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. And that's by hand." But uh, but anyway, then after you uh, after you get it cut out, then comes the sandpaper. You have to sand that slot out, as you can see what I've done here. Is, uh, oh, that's a shrimp net needle. You, it doesn't matter. Uh, same process whether you're going to make a shrimp net needle or you're going to make a, a, uh, a mullet net needle, cast net needle. Uh, 
after I finish, get everything completed and ready to ready to go, I got to kind of sit down in that chair and, and, and the wife kind of asked me one day, what in the world are you doing rubbing on that needle? But you know, you have oil in your hands and these things are a little bit dull. Uh, and after you uh, dull in texture, color. So what I'll do, I'll just sit down there for cooling, cooling it and I'll just take it and I'll just take it like this. So I'm gonna rub it. I'll just take that oil and it'll just polish that thing up nice after time. You can see what I'm doing there. And uh, that's not, that's not absolute, that's not necessary. That's just something that I do. Uh, I don't know of anything else that I can really cover on this. I think I've pretty well covered what I wanted to. At least let you know uh, that uh, the, the way we do it. Now, and, and, some, and all there's some and smart guys out there and I'm sure you're gonna come up with a better way of doing this, but uh, but anyway, it's a start. It's the way we do it. And don't do it on a large scale. I mean, this is over some years here. You see this stack of needles. That ain't something I sat down and did in one day, that's for sure. It takes me about an hour uh, from start to finish to, to make one, that is. After we have, uh, Phil and I will take a, a, a piece of raw wood and uh, we'll cut it. We try, we'll kind of try to cut it down to, uh, you know, I like to, another thing I, I need to mention is the length. Don't run out there for your first time and make a needle. These needles, I, I use a, anywhere from 15, 16 inch needle, uh, anti-knot. I don't like a lot of knots in my nets, so I use a long needle. I can put a lot of cord on it. Don't worry about the cutout. I just, I just sometimes I'll try to copy, uh, the old time needles. These, this, 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 this particular one, this cutout style was back at the turn of back at the turn of the century. So uh, I just do that something. It's a little something different now and then, normally. But that's all you need. Just cut something straight, and I'm just, just keep grabbing the wrong one. <laughs> anyway, uh, but with that said, I don't know what else uh, you can find us. Uh, we have a website. The thickness, thickness of the wood. Okay, I'm sorry, I forgot that, Phil, thank you. Normally what we do, the thickness is no bigger than one eighth. Uh, I kind of like, depending on now on my ebony, I'll try to, I, it's, it's very strong, it's hard, it's very strong and rigid. Uh, I'll, maybe 330 seconds, but don't go below that and try not to go over one eighth of an inch thick. And I started out and I didn't, I got off my beaten path we, we'll do a rough cut, we'll, take and we'll, we'll cut it down to perhaps the length that we like, uh, and then um, maybe we'll cut it down to a quarter of an inch by one inch by, and I do make these things from three quarters to uh, uh, three quarters to, uh, to uh, one inch, seven eighths, I don't try not to go to an inch, but uh, this is probably three quarters, I don't go over seven eighths. Uh, on the uh, shrimp net needles, Five sixteenths, or a little less. If you can get it a little less, that's good. Depending on what size mesh you use, I use a larger mesh, a shrimp net. I use a five inch mesh, so uh, I don't have to have a, a needle that's so narrow. But uh, uh, with that, after you cut it down, then you have to plane it. Uh, uh, plane it down to the to this thickness here, as you can see, uh, and then you want to cut it then doesn't matter how wide you cut it because you're going to do what I did. You're going to take and lay it out and cut it off anyhow. But I think uh, pretty well covered everything. We can be found. I have a website, menorcanmagic.com. Uh, I'm also on Facebook. You can find us on Facebook. And, and uh, I'd like to hear from you if you have any questions or any comments or concerns about this. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for some time. I think my next one that we're going to do here in, in, in a short period of time is going to be on when you when you uh, run out of cord, how to tie back into a net. I want to really show you that. Okay, with that said, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody and uh, until next time.